Hi everyone, Ovidio Ponoran here, Product Manager at UiPad. Today I'm going to show you how to use in practice the Azure activities developed by UiPad recently. After you install the UiPad.Azure.Activities package, you will see the activities in your UiPad Studio under Cloud Azure. There are more than 50 activities which enables you to easily automate important Azure operations in your workflows, like managing resource groups, storage accounts, blob containers, blobs, tables, and virtual machines. Today, I will show two workflows creating using Azure activities. The first one, create virtual machines, creates three virtual machines in a specified resource group, and for two of them, set the tag always on to false, and for one of them, set the tag always on to true. The second workflow, stop virtual machines, stops all running virtual machines from a given resource group if they have tag always on equal false. Let's start with create virtual machines. First, we need an Azure scope activity in order to connect to Azure and provide a scope for the other Azure activities. Then we need to create a resource group in which the virtual machines will be created later. Before creating the virtual machines, we need to obtain a virtual machine image by publisher and we store the value in virtual machine image and we'll pass this image as parameter to the create VM activity. Here you can see the create VM activity called in order to create the first virtual machine and setting the tag always on to true. We'll use again create VM activities the same way in order to create the other remaining two virtual machines. The second workflow retrieves first the list of virtual machines which are running from our resource group and then check those virtual machines having the value for tag always on equal false and only for those virtual machines call the stop vm activity so this process which is stopping virtual machines can be used, for example, daily at, uh, during the evening to power off all those virtual machines which are not needed during the night in order to save money. Let me show you the results in Azure because this process uh, takes like eight minutes to run. So I just uh, run it before the presentation and I'll show you the results. So we have here the three virtual machines first one with always on equal true and the other one with always on equal false let's check their status so the one having always on flag equal true it's still running after running the workflow and let's take one with always on equal false and check if it stopped and indeed this machine it stopped and they allocated so it doesn't consume any more any money <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, thanks for watching goodbye